hell? What's wrong with my hair today? I just washed it today. You're on Earth. Seven million years ago, give or take. Mayuri? You were brought here by a time machine, though you probably won't remember that yet. I don't understand. It's crazy, you know? I've chased after you through so many mixed up world lines that I don't even remember how far back it was I lost count. Oh God. Episode Please, 12. Of course, the you I followed here is just one of a whole bunch of different versions. You're the original, though. That much I know. Sorry. The Mayuri that found you is just one of a bunch of versions, too. But I'm sure I'm the original version of me. I learned that the hard way. The important thing is. I have a feeling we're both going to die here. The good news is, the stuff that makes us who we are will pass down to the versions of us 70 million years from now. Oh god, it's a so, perf- Perf- it's what? Okay. Is the ending not going to be perfect? Or good at all? No opening. Sorry, after Tokyo Curry Ghoul, mostly finished setting everything up and I never trust the episode 12s Even again. Awesomer, though my cosplay is almost done. Hmm? <laughs> Earth Ocarine? And I took my cosplay wig off! Just what she was talking about! Cosplay. Fudge! I can't, my hair is... Oh, it was really hey, itchy. Hey, hold a second for me, will you? Like that, yeah. Like this? Yep, yep. Nice and stretched out. Try to think like you're a clothesline. <laughs> oh, what a pretty ribbon. I know, right? <gasps> you should totally try this on. It's okay. I have other outfits I can compete in. It is kind of cute. Got the cosplay bug. Uh, please, don't even go there. Like I'd ever traipse around in public wearing... <laughs> Finished! <laughs> Yay! She takes home the gold! I beat you! <laughs> this was a race? Oh dear. You cleaned our clock, huh? But we're not far behind. Matter of fact, we're done. We've got our leaper, folks. <gasps> leaper? Oh, wow! Oh. Definitely looks like something an evil genius's bunker would have in the armory, huh? Mm. So it works kind of like the phone wave, except it comes with the headset. It may this not be anime a of design, reminds me a lot like another anime. A person's memory to any point it's in called the past, Orange. Particularly now that we've got access to the LHC. And what Sending the LHC letters to, to the with? past well, you to, put it to simply, change the it's future. As a compressor. It's actually, see, I only seen three episodes and it's pretty good so far. comprise one's memory and converts them into terabytes. 3.24 terabytes to be exact. The phone wave can only move 36 bytes of data at a time, so terabytes are totally out of bounds. With the LHC, however, we can generate a black hole that'll defrag the neural data to a size the phone wave can manage. Basically, once the data is compressed, we can send it just like we would a D-mail. So smart! So it's like putting your old quilt into a vacuum bag before shoving it into the closet? Well, not exactly, but close enough, I guess. You've got the basic idea. Anyway, we send it to your phone in the past, like we do with D-mail. They always it have these through, flip phones. Then gets unraveled by the broad spectrum signal. Unraveled. And the neural patterns comprising your present state of memory are overlaid onto sorry. the neural pattern unique to your past self. We can only send I'm data sorry, back guys. in 48 hour increments, though. Push that window any further and the copy signal will find nothing to match up with in your past brain. The developmental gap between the two versions of yourself will be too great. And then there's the other glaring issue. What? Unlike our D-mail experiments, this isn't something we can run without a test subject, specifically a human being. Believe me, Are they going to use bananas the again? Case, but it's the only surefire way to verify memory transference. Proxies just aren't enough. Wait, so you're saying one of us has to volunteer to be the first chimpanzee in space? Get yeah, Katniss! A volunteer's tribute! Give me your opinion on all of this. I want to know what you think about it, not Hoey. Daru. Yo, yo. Am I to understand that we've yet to puzzle out how we're connected to CERN? Uh, hmm. But we can be reasonably sure they haven't sniffed out our trail. I'm inclined to agree with Daru's assessment. If they were wise to us, we'd have seen some indication of it by now. 
I'm watching you. Who sent it, though? If we've really found a way to conquer time... Is he gonna tell them? I have to know. Uh, um, maybe we could send a Jelmana back to the past to see if it changes into how it was when I bought it. Sweetie, think oh. about what you're asking, okay? Bananas don't have memories. And ours aren't worth risking. Huh? Huh? I think it's fair to say we're out of our depth here. I vote we go public with our findings and let someone else sort out the ethics. Um, I second that. If that's what everyone wants, that's what we'll go with. That's what I want! I second it too! Do we know what kind of pizza Hashida ordered? Draw me like your French girls, no Jack. Well, it's not a big deal. Salad pretty much goes with whatever. Let's see. Hold on. Now what? You are making a salad. That's right. Grapefruit salad, to be precise. Then why in the name of all that's holy am I looking at ground beef? Come on, don't you like to mix it up a little bit? Grapefruit's like the equivalent of black anyways. It goes with everything. Excuse me, have you eaten one? Oh, and since when did you become such a connoisseur? <sighs> Look, they have these things called prepared salads Call designed to save a busy woman like you the no trouble. Thanks. Those are basically boxes of foliage. You seriously got to loosen up and learn how to make your own fun sometime, I swear. Ah, cilantro! Perfection! It's me. It appears the sleeper agent is going in for a checkmate. Backup requested to keep her out of the kitchen. <laughs> I can't believe you're joking around. I gotta say, I didn't think you'd be taking this all so well. I'm kind of surprised. I thought you'd be climbing the walls to leap through time once we figured out the mechanics. That bother you? It is what it is. <laughs> He's gonna reach it for her, is he? No. Ever okay. read any Martin Heidegger? Or try to? He thought that humans were temporal. Just so you know, I'm glad we're turning this thing over to someone else. Really. I mean, I think all of us are, but me in particular. Is it okay if we invite Ruka and Ferris to the party? Because we kind of already did. When did this become a party? <laughs> this sounds weird, but I get the impression Mayuri's more relieved than all of us. Maybe you're right. I think out of the group, she had the keenest focus on the big picture. We couldn't see the forest for the trees. When do we go public? The sooner the better, as far as I'm concerned. Just give me a heads up. I want to let my mom know. Oh, What's her relationship with her mother? Dad's going to find out I made a time machine. I don't even want to imagine the kind of temper tantrum he's going to pitch. It'll probably be a big enough deal that we'll have to put Almarie on the back burner mm -hmm. for a while, at least. I wouldn't worry too much. As a lab member, you are entitled to my protection in times of impending crisis. Oh, sure I am. Provided I submit to your evil will, right? Provided that you keep in contact. Uh, uh, like... I mean, sure. Uh, oh, uh, I... You're so adorable. Just kiss already. Uh, uh, uh wait, hold on, you... Ah, uh, kiss? Uh, uh, what are you doing? You're so out of character all of a sudden, I'm forced to conclude you've been stricken with some kind of fever. What? Look, I... It's not like I was serious or anything. I was just trying to avoid an awkward situation by being courteous. Liar, liar, pants on fire. What is your problem? <laughs> She's gonna make your pants you go on fire in a minute. You keep flying off the handle, <laughs> and then you babble about keeping in touch like you care. Stop throwing me curveballs. <laughs> I'm sorry, which one of us is supposed to be flying off the handle? Don't make this more complicated than it is Come already. Come on, You're yes. my assistant. Yeah, well, there are... You guys are adorable. Really? Because you just hurled a slew of them at me. You know what? I thought of one. Impossible. Hey, soup's on. Thanks for waiting on us. Dang it. the manners of a baboon. What? It was getting cold. Uh, Thanks for the variety, too, I might add. Come on, like this would have been a perfect case. Oh, all these are smothered in olives, which <coughs> you damn well know I hate. This is exactly why I'm making a salad fit for royalty. Uh -huh. Give me a second, I'll toss the bits together and we'll have proper knowledge. You let her buy produce? I tried to stop her, but she wouldn't see a reason. Damn it! Are you or are you Sorry, not pledged to protect got... our lives? Don't lose heart, my harried friend. We're not done for just yet. Bear in mind that apple pie fiasco may well have been an accident. The rare miss of a gourmand. I forgot to buy radishes. Oh well, shallots will do. Okay, if I survive this meal, I'm going to write a letter of apology yeah! to everyone I've ever wronged. I'm back. 
We're saved. Mayuri, darling, could you scuttle into the kitchen? And... Hey, what's up, party people? Wowza, something in here smells almost oh, edible. Did you guys order some pizza? Because I got oh, chicken fudge. too. I thought you knew better than to have her around. I happen to be a member of this lab. Mind telling us what you're doing here? I'm a lab member, too. What's happening? Not a clue. Did something happen between the two of you, or what? No. She just gets off leveling bizarre accusations at me, like when she tells people I'm a mole for Well, sir. hey, if the shoe fits, wear it. What gives you the right to say crap like that? You don't even know me. Keep talking. I know how this goes down. Huh? What is going on? Trust me, lady. The things you're gonna do? <laughs> Let's just say I'm more of an expert on what's behind that whole innocent girl act than you are. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm sorry. Could you maybe run that by me again without the crazy? Uh-oh. Um, are you guys... Wait, where did my Yuri go? Clear up that, please, door. Wait. oh sensitive one. <laughs> it appears the only remedy for this awkward turn of mistake? events is the intercession of yours truly. Zombie, I, just I did not raise an insolent backbiter. You didn't raise me at all, freak. <clears throat> if you intend to don the Appalachian mad scientist, you must first subdue... I have no intention of donning it. Uh, uh, timer. You can point your finger at me all you want, Okabe. If you ignore my warning, whatever happens is on you. I don't deny that you warned me. Hey, slow down a sec. Don't tell me you actually believed her. No, it's a bit more complicated than that. You sure didn't put up an argument. Well, perhaps I... Perhaps you should have just let him catfight? If you'd like to jump in and help oh. me contain this, you are more than welcome. Um, please stop fighting. I really hate it when people fight. Sweetie, uh... For the record, I'm not a big fan of it myself. I don't mean to be all weird. I just mm. want you to like each other as much as I like you. I love you, my Yuri. Hang on. I'm gonna end it here. Please like, comment, subscribe. Sayonara, Aishidera. Ta-da!